guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, cross watchers. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, happy to have you join us. I'm going to pull from Priestess of Light Oracle to activate the reading. Let's see what comes through for you, Virgo. Do keep in mind it's a general reading, not a private reading, so it may not resonate for everybody. Take what speaks to you, leave the rest. Ooh, card 19, death and rebirth, darkness to light. Someone else got this card. Um, another sign, I mean. But when you think about the numerology, right? It's a 10, it's completion. That zero drops off and we reset to a one. So it's like going from the 10 of swords to the ace, the 10 of wands to the ace. And it feels with death and rebirth, we are talking about eighth house themes um we're talking about pluto we're talking about scorpio energies so that sort of rising from the ashes i like it all right now let's jump to um the spread i'm going to give you my general impressions we'll get details from the clarifiers i did do the um new moon in gemini reading you can watch that even though the moon has moved on um there might be some messages there, but also the June 2024 monthly energy update. It's still early in the month. You may want to check that out. Here we go. Nice. So we're all focused on the keeper of our heart here. What's crossing it? Wow. Um, this is someone that you're dealing with who um, may be coming through as a little cool and aloof, right? not super warm and fuzzy. This is someone that you have an emotional connection to, but they're not showing it. They're not mirroring that for you. Yes, so you're in decision-making mode in your unconscious awareness in the past, three of cups. Um, that could be about reconciliation. It could be about um, the more joyful, you know, um, social aspects of this connection. Page of Wands in your conscious awareness, open to a positive message. And then we have the moon in the near future. So maybe something you can't see um, that you have to rely on your intuition around could also be something that triggers some apprehension, some concern. Um, so let's jump in and get some clarifiers. I'm going to go into more detail about this person in the extended. So let's see what the general message is. Ten of Wands. There, did you hear me say it? The ten, the <laughs> ten of Wands to the Ace. Wow. Okay. So take that Oracle very seriously. Yes, we're about to move to um, a reigniting of the torch of passion. Um, a return, I feel, to some happiness that's sort of been lying dormant or um, unavailable to you in this connection for some reason. So even though we're dealing with that King of Swords as crossing the situation, meaning that like we got to break through to someone's either icy exterior or their um, less they're they're less warm and fuzziness you know it feels to me like this is someone who you have a lot of feelings for there could be a lot of passion in this connection good chemistry but something definitely has taken a toll on the connection the ten of wands it's the offloading of something that's been a heavy burden right it's a release and then the ace comes in and underneath what's available to you is that happiness, a resurgence of passion and happiness. So let's see the two of swords in your unconscious awareness. Yeah, um, can we have this fresh start if they return? You are um, already contemplating, maybe not in your everyday awareness, but on some level, on an internal level, you are absolutely contemplating this person's return and trying to make decisions about whether you would take that next step. Um, the Page of Pentacles can represent the first step, um, fresh start. It can be something that has to be learned before you can really get engaged in the situation. But the Two of Swords is a crossroads moment, and the Two of Pentacles is kind of like, well, 
Let me assess realities on the ground before I make a decision. I want to know what I'm really dealing with here. Um, and because we have the moon in the near future, there might be some uncertainty in that arena. So let's see the three of cups in the past. Tower, ten of swords, wow, four of wands. I almost, um, I'm not seeing, whatever this three of cups is, I do feel there was some form of a breakdown in the connection could be due to a third party or a third energy entity, something um, that uh, took this connection out. I mean, like cut it off at the knees. I think it was unexpected. I don't think you saw it coming. So three of cups. It can be, um, yeah, a third party. It can be outside people, friends, family, interference, um, work obligations, parental obligations. It could be a distance, right? Think about whatever that third energy is that gets between you and your beloved and how maybe there's something that happened that took you out of the forward progress of this connection um, because it was no longer sustainable. But the ending of that was maybe unexpected and somewhat painful, possibly devastating for some of you. Oh boy, page of wands in your conscious awareness, open to a positive message, trying to be up from your, yes, I love that. I love that. That's great, right? Like what, what was a disappearing act? You rejected me, abandoned me, devalued me, right? I feel like you're kind of open to hearing from this person an explanation, because two of, um, two of cups, four of wands, this is a powerful soul bond. And I feel like something came in and ripped the rug out from underneath you. And while you're open to hearing from this person and you're coming through um, with some degree of optimism, right? Like that was then, this is now, but if we're gonna have a new beginning or a fresh start, we gotta kind of go back to the scene of the crime and at least understand where the breakdown was. What, you know, the F was that about is pretty much what you're asking. So in the moon in the near future, right, can we, oh, there's our, there's this miracle energy that's been swirling around lately. Um, yeah, the, the wish come true, the dream, come true is about reconciliation and, and the even give and take of it all, some generosity, some reciprocity. And with the moon here, it's like, <clears throat> you're gonna have to trust your intuition for what you can't see or predict going forward. Sorry, <clears throat> I'm getting all choked up, um, right? Because you won't get an immediate answer from, for that. It's gonna take a little time for it to reveal itself. All right, so absolutely, um, you know how to check your intuition. It, suspicion is not intuition. Um, you wanna come from the highest vibration of judging the character of the person, um, listening to what they have to say. So this is, this is for those of you who, if you haven't already recently heard from your person, may hear from them shortly. And if you hear from them in some way, shape or form, you're going to have to use your intuition to talk to, um, help guide you forward as to whether or not um, what they're saying rings true. And is enough of um, an explanation that you can see your way clear to begin again, to have a fresh start, to take the next step, okay? And it's gonna be different for all of you. However, I want to see what's going on with our King of Cups, King of Swords person here. To you, they're the love, they're the they're the one you love. But the way they're coming through is kind of ice kingish. They're not real approachable or they're kind of mysterious even. Um, so we want to sort of get it straight from the horse's mouth. That's what we're going to look at in the extended. I'm going to do high vibration, low vibration cards for this person. 
um, which is about, you know, their in, it's kind of their intentions, um, their feelings for you at this time, their intentions toward you and the connection, uh, hidden energy, what do they not want you to see, but that might be very helpful for you to know, and their message directly to you. So that's what we're going to do. Here we go. We have the King of Cups is Scorpio. That's your whole death and rebirth. Uh, we have the King of Swords, not once but twice. That is Aquarian energy. The sun is the sun, but it rules Leo, Page of Pentacles, all the earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Knight of Wands associated with Sagittarian energy, the in and out of it all. Um, Tower is Mars, which just moved into Taurus, I believe, um, and that rules the sign of Aries. Mars in Taurus is going to move a lot slower and give us a chance to, you know, where we're moving slower and give us a chance to catch our breath. So that's actually a good placement. Um, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, the moon is associated with the sign of Pisces and the star is Aquarian energy as well. Lots of Aquarius here. So um, if this resonated for you, great. There, there are links, plural, uh, below to the extendeds. There are a couple different ways you can get the extended. Check it out. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, if it's helped bring you any insight, if it resonated like to a T, please be sure to subscribe below and join us more regularly. If you click that little notification bell, it'll just come up in your feed and you can decide whether you want to watch it or not. So that's how it works. That's my ask. And um, I'm heading to the extended now. I'll see you there in a second. Bye, Virgo.